Okay, today we're um, we're modifying a um, O2 sensor. I keep getting the code PO420. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this, this modification on it. See, can I stop that uh, code resistors and some com capacitors? And uh, I'll leave the size in the description. So what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna do this this hack and we'll see whether or not it'll keep that uh PO420 from coming back. And so that is for the uh, the PO420 is for the passenger side um O2 sensor, the uh, last O2 sensor on that side the back one so I'm gonna use these uh, these uh, resistors right here and I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna put this resistor in between the black and the gray wire wires the black and the gray ones and what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna kind of um, I'm gonna put this one in line with the with the uh, signal wire. So this is signal wire on this particular one. And these two white ones uh, heater wires. And this is the signal wire, the black wire, and the gray wire is. It's the earth wire with the ground is the ground wire. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this wire right here. That's all I did. This one. The resistor in line with this. With this signal wire. And it's gonna bring down the signal a little bit. And uh it's supposed to control the signal, the amount of signal it, it sends out. That way it'll stop the uh, it'll make the computer think that everything is good. And so I'm gonna put it in line, I'm gonna cut it and put it in line, and solder it in place. And what I'm gonna do is use my com capacitor. Where's my capacitor? Where is it? Where are they? Oh, here we go, right here. Bought some uh, solid state capacitors. It don't make a difference. They don't have to be this uh, look like this, but as long as that is the proper uh, size and everything. And on here, it should tell you whether or not because one side goes to the ground. I see a plus right here. So this side goes to the uh, this side goes to the side that the uh, the signal side, but it has to go closer to the plug, not behind the plug, but closer to the plug side. Once I put the resistor on here. And then it's gonna saddle in between this this side and and the gray gray wire here, which is the ground. So I'm gonna sit in, sit right in between, and that's how it's gonna be like that. signal is gonna sit right in between the gray and black wire and so this wire right here this uh, resistor gonna be in between I'm gonna cut it in half and put it in between like I said this black wire and solder it right in between here So that's what I'm gonna do there. Yeah, put it right in 
between here. We're gonna do this. We're gonna try this and see whether or not it's gonna work. Let's just keep our fingers crossed. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this wire right here. Cut this wire, which is gonna be the signal wire on this particular one. Cause some of on some um, O2 sensor, most O2 sensors, the two black wires are the wires that you, uh, that are heater wires. On this one, the two white is the heater wire. So either they're gonna to be too black or gonna to be too white. And that's how you know which one is the, which ones are the heater wires. The two that's the same. So we're gonna go here. I'm gonna put the uh the resistor in between here and here. So let me see. Trim this back a little bit. Working like it like it should. Let's see, will it work now? Yep, there it is. I can hold it a little bit while I'm while I click it. Let me put this one in here. Let me trim this one back. solder this in between here right here and so there we go let's see so let's put this one around here first Solid this one first. Then I solid the other one. Up to that. It's gonna be hard to do this, but it had to be done. Mm. Let's see how we can really do this. Okay. Now, because what I gotta do is the capacitor here has to be, I see the positive side here. So the positive side, it goes right here. And what I'm gonna try to do is solder this at the same time that I'm soldering the other one that I'm soldering this uh, resistor. So let's go here. Okay. Let's go here. Okay. So. Can we? Uh... Oh man, I should have had my light on. Now I want to turn it on. Now we can see. <laughs> okay, 
So I have my resist on here. And I got to solder it on. So let's go with the soldering. I'm not good at soldering, so don't critique me. I just need it on there. There we go. So I think what I do first is get it hot. Move it on there hot, get it hot. And then what I do next is just touch it to it. This one started. Oh man, oh that's hot. Ooh. This one started. the gray side just the ground side and what we're gonna do here on this one is we're gonna try to trim it back it's gonna trim it back a little bit and uh, then we're gonna pick it back that one over here
Okay, I've done the hack. Now I'm gonna go back and uh, I'm gonna clean this, spray it down with some some carburetor cleaner. We'll do that and plug it back up. Let's see what we got. So this is the capacitor that I use. I can show you better than I can tell you. And this is. This is the capacitor information, and this is the resistor. Resistor information. Okay, now I have installed O2 sensor back with the hack, with the uh, bypass, and uh, that's to lower the signal that's going back to the the computer, the ECU. And so uh, now I'm gonna go up and then clear the code and start up and see whether or not uh, the check engine light immediately jumps back on. Okay, now I'm gonna get my scanner out. My scanner up. And now I'm gonna turn the, turn the dash on. Clear the, all the old codes. I'm gonna let you. Okay. From previous, now we got. Now on this monitor, we on this, we're gonna read the codes. Okay, the stored codes now are. See, there we go. That PO420. And escape out of there. So it's only one code. Pending code is. Same thing, so let's escape out of there, escape again, let's erase the code, enter, erase trouble code, done, done escape, and just close it out, okay, let's turn it, the dash back off, unplug it. Now let's start up. Okay, that's a good sign. So everything is soon didn't just jump back on. So we're gonna uh, drive it for some miles. I guess we're gonna reset this. Let's reset this on B. Let's hold it and reset it. Okay. And so we are monitor it and see how many miles we drive most of the time it comes back on around 30 miles or something like that but we're gonna see whether or not it'll come back if not it's a fix so I'll uh, keep you updated and uh, let the miles count and then I'll let you see uh, the mileage 